What's going on? My name is Anoki the One and I'm back with another video and this video is about why I think a lot of music schools and audio engineering programs in general are scams. Okay? Um, and I have Thriving Artists University and Thriving Art Artists University was actually born out of this thought process. I actually wanted to go to a big school um, for audio engineering and I was rejected because I didn't have two co-signers. So because I didn't have two co-signers to back up a hundred thousand dollar loan, I could not go to the school. That's crazy, right? And if I would have gone to the school, I've got great networking. I would have basically learned audio engineering, which I was already doing audio engineering at a high level with my own music. I only wanted to do it for my own music. Like, it's different if I wanted to do audio engineering for other people. And that's where it's a sc the difference between scam and it being possibly a viable thing to do. Because I honestly think that um, in the next few years, Audio engineers are going to be out of business, they're going to be out of a job for the most part because people, more and more people are going to be doing them, they're going to be doing it themselves and if audio engineers want to stay in business, they're going to have to start teaching people instead of just trying to charge them $80, $100 an hour to record their music because people can do it themselves at home. So, the reason I think, again, it's a scam is because a lot of times us as artists were ushered into these highly expensive schools because it sounds good to our parents and it sounds good to other people to say that oh my child's into music so they're going to go to xyz university and do audio engineering but guess what a lot of y'all are like me and if you go to xy great sounding university you got to pay for xy sounding university <laughs> when you get out and um that's not fun especially if you're an artist right like it's hard enough if you're you're an artist and you're starting from zero from the ground up if you go to a school like that and you may or may not get the education that you need literally my mentor will not take i'm not gonna say any names with school that he won't take but there's a audio engineering program in houston at a big time school that costs over a hundred thousand dollars and he refuses to even have interns from this college or this school because he says they're entitled and they don't know anything i'm just like and i know people who graduated there and was working under me at guitar center i'm just like and they're in debt and then six months after they graduate they got to pay that debt and they still ain't got no job in the in what they you still got to start from, you still got to build your clientele like any other business. So not only are you an artist, you're not even starting from zero. You're starting from negative one, two, three, four, five, six, hundred thousand dollars. You're starting from negative a hundred thousand dollars. And you got to go from negative a hundred thousand dollars with education that may or may not be useful. And you have to go all the way to whatever your goal is. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. That's anybody, I, honestly. If you're doing something that you uh, don't, it's not required for you to actually do it. Like if you're like a lawyer, a doctor, or a chiropractor where you literally have to have a degree in order to do it, then you're wasting your time. This is the information age, okay? You need the information. You need the wisdom, the knowledge, so you can create something, you can produce something, you can build something off of that, right? So that's why I feel like most, like the average music school and audio engineering school is a scam. It was made by, mo nine times out of 10, it was made by people who just saw a market for it. There's a lot of people that are interested in it and they're not artists, they're just opportunists and they know that parents want their artistic children to be in some kind of school, some kind of program. So they've created this illustrious program that may or may not give them any results. And then when they get out, they're in debt and then they still have to go from there. I know I'm talking to some people. Some of y'all might be triggered. Some of y'all might be like, hallelujah. And some of y'all might be like, thank you for this video. But this is true. And um, the way I developed Thriving Artists University is out of like, 
love for artists and being an artist and thinking about like hmm if i were an artist like this is literally what happened a week after um i got rejected i was like me in my position i don't particularly i'm not particularly going there for the education right a lot of people don't i'm going there because i want to be around like-minded people i want to network i do want to learn more i want to grow um but i just want to make more music like i want to be in the environment of making music so i thought about like what if i created a business where um basically i had all the equipment because i already had all the equipment to make music but um if there is station set up for people who don't have the equipment or if they just want to come here and do the um make their music outside of the home because sometimes you can get complacent you can get bored you can get distracted at home so if it's outside the home you can be around other people like-minded people networking in your city and collaborating with other people and learning from other people by doing and making legitimate products in the process and putting that stuff out consistently um without wasting time trying to get credits or whatever in this mathematics class and this other trash class that you don't need and you already know that this right here where you can pick exactly what you want pay on a monthly basis come here like a monthly membership like to a gym because you live in the real world you have to pay real bills and you're a real person all right and build your career from there from producing we're producing the product is the number one not getting a paper and that's why i think most um music schools are scam because that's not what they're designed to do all right and that's my video so subscribe like comment what you think and go to thrivingartistuniversity.com and get more information hit me up thrivingartistuniversity at gmail.com if you're interested i'm making online courses for the people that i can't touch because online courses have changed my entire life like i learned how to produce on youtube and with online courses like literally i learned how to do everything with education outside of me like cut my learning curve in half and if you're in the houston area you can come in person and by having a person in, like when i worked at guitar center i went from less than mediocre to fire in i think two years and the re and that's what made me think about the idea because i had already been through that process and i thought you know going to this expensive school would take me to the next level but actually it was going to take me underground you feel what i'm saying don't need that debt okay we want to be financially we want to thrive in this piece so by being in that environment at guitar center and it was a rare guitar center because there's a lot of hip-hop and r&b people and you if you know uh, guitar centers a lot of times guitar centers have a lot of people that are heavy metal hardcore rock because there's a lot of guitars obvious but this one god bless me <laughs> and there's a lot of r&b artists there's a lot of hip-hop artists that would come through there and that work there and i was able to learn directly and i'm just like i was over everybody's shoulder even even heavy metal guitars i want to learn from everybody and everything and it was a studio it was a um one of the first um guitar center studios in houston and i was working in the guitar center studios so i was taking piano classes guitar classes drum classes vocal classes bass classes every classes all of them at a discount because i worked there and i was watching rehearsals so i was studying how bands would work together to make music and then i went over to pro audio and then i'm studying all i literally broke down everything that i was learning in in all the different equipment because i knew nothing about equipment i was still like before then i was going to buy best buy to buy my equipment it's hot mess don't tell anybody that but yeah i learned about all the equipment I hacked everybody's brain. I was asking everybody as many questions as possible. I would get the equipment, go home, take notes, go on YouTube, study it, all that stuff. Learn and learn and learn. Soaking it up. I would make music. I would bring it to Guitar Center and I'd be like, listen to this in the speaker room. What do you think? People would tell me their honest opinion because I'm around artists. I would write it down, take notes, da 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 da. Go back. That's invaluable right and that's the environment that i'm creating here so where you can get immediate 
it's not just you in the back of the, the classroom. You might have a group assignment every once in a while, but you know, this is by design. It's like this. All right. So hit me up. Like I said, like, subscribe, all this other stuff. And I'm out.